Casey, that was uh, a tale of two halves. And as I said a little bit ago before we started the interview, a lot of factors in both those halves as well. And I just don't think you got many calls tonight either. Um, do we get fined in high school? I'm, I'm gonna no, you can't. I'm going to stay away from that because I don't make enough money just in case. Uh, I think there was a big disparity at the free throw line for sure, and I'm sure some of that's us just not moving our feet and doing the right things, and I'm going to leave the rest of it where it is. We, we've got to take better care of the ball. We, we're, we're trying to do too much. When we just do the easy things, we're fine, but we, we try to make it too hard sometimes, and, and we miss somebody, and then we feel bad, so we try to fire it in there anyway, and we just – we got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. I mean, we say it after every game, and we keep working on it. And yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's a, I need a Rosetta Stone for it. I guess we can't seem to crack that. Well, you had 16, I think, unofficially in the first half. You cut that down to I think like eight or nine in the second half. But there were some costly ones that probably got them a bucket that get that lead back up to you know 10 points. But you eventually cut it down again. But again, some really costly errors. Yeah, we just and we we put ourselves in that hole, and then you add that to not scoring. And it, it's a bad combination. I don't think we played terrible defensively. The game got a little bit up and down more than I wanted it to. Uh, but actually, that turn, turned to be in our favor, I think, because we were real stagnant offensively. Uh, you know, but just too many turnovers. You know, Braxton played well for you tonight. I think she kind of took it into herself that, you know, without Lauderdale in there to help the scoring, she kind of took that on her shoulders. Yeah, she did. And, and we ran some things that kind of forced her to. And, and, you know, in hindsight, maybe we should have tried some other things. I thought the ball moved well in the fourth quarter. We weren't selfish with it. You know, we ran some clear outs for her because we felt like she could drive on him. But, you know, we just got real stank. That second quarter just killed us. Do you, it kind of drives you nuts. I know it, when you look at this and you think, what if? And we say that a lot in coaching, what if? If you just had that second quarter back again and some of those turnovers, and I know they lost their best player, their best rebounder and score, that just might have happened in that fourth quarter for you. Yeah, you know, but we can't dig that hole for ourselves. You know, you, you can't. We all will play that what-if game, and we talked about in the locker room. Like, what do you think happens if you play it like you did in the fourth quarter for four quarters? And, you know, that's the only way you can play that game, to try to get them involved and engaged and trying to, to be the best they can all the time. And I don't think they were trying to not be their best, but we certainly lost focus and we got frustrated and we let some things bother us that we can't control. And, and we carried things with us. And I was a little disappointed in that. Now, I'm proud that they shook it off because, it, you know, that's a game a year ago we would have lost by 50 because we would have just folded. I hate that it occurred. I'm proud that they shook it off. But we've got to work on stamping it out so it doesn't even occur. We just let some things bother us that we can't control. I know you're not into the moral victory type stuff at all, but to at least make that comeback and really make them really have to, I mean, hold on to try to get that win had to make you guys feel pretty good. Yeah, you know, and I told him in there, I'm confused. I don't know whether to be upset with them or proud of them because they're, they're, there's 50-50 there. You know, there's a lot of our kids that did really good things. You know, we talked about Kelsey stepped up. Asia Orr was huge for us. You know, Hev did some good things. We, we had some good things happen, but we, we go back to we can't dig those holes for ourselves. We can't. We, we've got to be our best self all the time. Coach, you get a week now, and you don't play till next week, so this is a longer stretch than you've had in a long time. You've played eight games in the month of November. I know you're probably a little bit fatigued, too, playing that much, and then you had that Thanksgiving break, and that threw off the, mo the uh, routine as well. What do you do between now and next week, and then, of course, getting Lauderdale back, and hopefully she'll be back next week. What do you, what do you really want to work on in this next few days? I think passing would be an obvious uh, obvious point um we're gonna get a lot of shots up tomorrow we probably won't go very long because we are we've already completed a third of our season i mean we, we've played a lot of games in a row this was a battle tonight i know they're going to be tired we're gonna get them in we're gonna get some shots up we're gonna do some passing things we're gonna probably look at some film and then regroup and come back thursday and get ready to, to have a regular practice and just keep progressing you know we're, i don't know that we'll put much new in right now but we certainly got a lot to tighten up and we've got to prepare for franklin county